Hey everyone, we are a team of master students of Mechatronics and today we are excited to introduce to you our robot Spot the Pot. Our robot is an automated watering tool. The idea is that the robot would traverse throughout the given environment, maybe your apartment, and then service an entirety of a cupboard with different um, pot sizes and plants. The robot consists of a base running back and forth, and then a platform here, which can run up all to 1 meters 80 to service the whole shelf. Spot the Pot detects plants with the help of uh, this sensor on the front. The sensor will send distance measurements to the Arduino and on the Arduino we do some kind of uh, curve analysis from which we can get maximas, minimas and turning points. And those can be used to then find the pots positions and even find pots which are occluded more than 50% by each other. So regarding the water plant, we are using a 4 liter tank and a submersible centrifugal pump. Then due to several physical effects on the amount of water, we are using a flow meter to define the amount of water uh, emitted at the effector. And also, in order to try to reduce as much as possible the presence of air inside the hose, we are using a solenoid valve here and two no-return valves in series here at the end of the hose. Our whole concept is about modularity and ease of implementation. That is why we use ITEM aluminium profiles for the main structure and we 3D printed our own stuff for particular issues. The motion is from uh, our stepper motors and is transmitted by tooth belt system as well for, as for this rack and pinion system to reach the shelf. Safety is the big issue for us, that's why the first electronic component implemented a fuses and emergency stop button uh, this is the emergency store button and the, our watertight casing is rated IP33 which protects our system from the top not from the bottom and uh, it's a waterproof against the watering that comes from our anti-factor. Here's a little preview for our human machine interface. We can turn on the entirety of the robot using our emergency switch here and we have a simple intuitive setup for choosing the different states that are written here in our guide. The states can be reached by pressing the um, appropriate key on the keypad and then the state and the substate is printed on a LCD. And now I'm going to talk about our used controller. The used controller here is Arduino Mega 2560 which has 54 pins input output. This Arduino is very reliable, robust and cost effective. Um, we, we did a lot of coding here uh, related to movement detection, related to the algorithm uh, and uh, interaction between the sensors and actuators. The whole project was a lot of work for all of us, but a great opportunity to learn. Uh, we faced and overcome a lot of hurdles regarding mechanics, software and electronics, but also a team communication, self-management and project plan. Spot the Pot was a result of a master course called Robotic Anwendungen at University Duisburg-Essen in winter term 2022-2023. We were seven students, had a budget of 750 euros and about three months of implementation phase. In the end, we are very proud of our result and want to thank to all contributors and also the sponsors from the university. Thank you very much for watching.